Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Twin Flag Garage. Today I'm gonna be doing the brown mod, the brown wire mod. I have an LCM5 module in my C5 that I purchased last week. However, I am continually getting the pull key and wait 10 second error code. This apparently is the fix. It's called the brown wire mod. I'll post a link in the description for where I found how to do it. I did try to contact compliance um, and apparently the guy at compliance is amazing, but I, I found how to do the mod. Uh, previous owner didn't really know about it, said it just does this thing. I was like, ah, nah, we're gonna, we gonna fix it. This is Twin Flag Garage, baby, we gonna fix it. So first thing you gotta do, pull your negative ground terminal from the battery. So we've got that disconnected already. That's step one, step two, we're gonna pull the BCM. Once we pull the BCM, we're gonna pull the big, top pink connector out that step whatever then the next step we're gonna take the brown wire and we're gonna put in the third on the bottom this is gonna be a dark green wire that we're gonna take out the dark green wire and we're gonna put in this brown wire we're gonna cap that dark green wire that we've removed and we're gonna cut the loop we're gonna cut the loop once we cut the loop we're gonna tape the loop ends I don't have the actual kit because this is this car was purchased secondhand, and the kit came with the car as I said. So we're gonna just use an electrical tape very carefully to cap these ends. Boom! Let's hope this is the fix because mine is not locking, mine is not cutting fuel, but I get the code pretty much every other start. So I figure we gotta try this mod. And absolute worst case scenario, we can always undo it. So let's check it out. So first things first, pull back here floor mat, pull back your kick panel, and this is our fantastic ECU. You can see I already got the module installed, it's already grounded, that's a nice sign. All we're going to do is firmly pull up on this tab, and lift, and it should pop right out. Woo! So nice when things work out the way you want them to. Fantastic. So, we are going to take out this top one with a bit of wiggle. Err. If you make that noise, it makes it easier <laughs> with one hand and one hand filming. Let me uh, put the camera down. I'm gonna pop this out one sec. And boom, okay. So we've got this removed and we're looking for the third wire. Uno, dos, threes. Fantastic. Third wire on the bottom. It's supposed to be dark green. Oh my gosh, sorry, camera. Dark green, so look in the bottom of the row here. One, two, three, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this, they call this a comb or something. I think we have to remove the gray one on the bottom. This guy here. So we're just gonna jam the Allen key into the here to pop it out and we'll see what's going on. Now off of this guy, there should be a brown wire. Would you look at that, brown wire? This brown wire is gonna go into the third pin on the bottom of this guy, which is supposed to be dark green. So guys, I jammed my Allen key right here and right here, and I got this comb out of the back. And you'll see, it's very hard to see, but there is a dark a dark green wire right there where the tip of my thumb is. That's the one we're taking out. I'm gonna put the brown guy in. Boom. All I gotta do, a little snippy snippy there, tie up all our loose ends, and hopefully, sweet baby Jesus, hopefully we get this sucker no more codes. You remove it, all you're gonna do is shove your Allen key in the third hole and gently pull out on the other side. It doesn't take a lot of force. And you'll see we've already gotten the green wire out. Now we're gonna put the brown wire in. Now make sure you keep the same orientation. It should go in with ease. All right, let's do it. All right guys, brown wire went in. It made a really nice gentle click noise. That's how you know it's seated properly. And then we're gonna throw, uh, sorry, camera. This is super tight quarters. I'm not a small guy. We're going to throw our comb back in. I'm going to call it a comb because I'm going to use it to refresh my hair. Cool. And boom. That's done. Next, we're going to do the snippy snippy, the point of no return. Now, like I said, I only had one of these because I pulled it off the brown one. This is going to go on the green one. The two loose ends that we create, I'm going to probably just do, do up with some electrical tape. And hopefully, hopefully, sweet baby Jesus works. All right. Hold tight. All right, guys. Whew, I'm nervous. I got the brown wire. All right, here it goes, point no return, and boom. It's 
snipped. All right, so now I'm gonna dress up these guys with a little bit of electrical tape, and we should be we should be smooth sailing. Um, just put the kick or put the hooks back in the top, twist it down, pop it into place, and we'll give her a start. Fingers crossed. I'm so nervous. This doesn't work. Fingers crossed. Okay. All right, guys. Easy as that. You see, I got these guys taped up. Not the cleanest job, but I'm gonna get proper covers for them after. This is easily accessible enough. Got everything seated properly. Make sure all the cables are tucked into the cavity nice and neat. You don't want to, you just make sure nothing's pinched or anything's in the best spot. And then I'm just gonna move that. I don't know what it is, but whatever. Cool, check our ground. Ground looks good. Cool beans. All right, here's the startup. Let's see, fingers crossed. And before I forget, make sure you plug your battery back in. It'll probably help the whole startup process. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm happy. Ah, what a relief. I was afraid of turning the key and the car was gonna catch on fire or something. I'm not, I don't love doing electrical stuff, but man, that was nice and simple. And didn't require a ton of tools. Got my wire cutters. Got some scissors to cut my electrical tape, but if you get the nice clean ends, it's easier. The smallest, you could probably use a toothpick for this, but the smallest Allen key you can find. That's the that's the guy that you want to use. And uh, nerves of steel when you're gonna go cut that brown wire. I'm so happy that worked. Oh, that was so annoying. Woohoo! Hope this helped you guys out because I couldn't find a video of how to do this exactly, so I thought I'd make one. Amazing. Drive safe, guys.